Today we're going to read Could Be Worse by James Stevenson. Could be worse. At Grandpa's house, things were always the same. Grandpa always had the same thing for breakfast, and every day he read the paper. And he always said the same thing. Could be worse. Grandpa, that awful dog ate the sofa cushion. Could be worse, no matter what. I got a splinter in my finger, Grandpa. Could be worse. My bike has a flat and my sneakers have a hole and I lost my kite in a tree, Grandpa. Could be worse. One day, Marianne said, How come Grandpa never says anything interesting? I guess it's because nothing interesting happens to him, said Louis. Next morning at breakfast, Grandpa said something different. He said, Guess what? Last night, when I was asleep, a large bird pulled me out of my bed and took me for a long ride and dropped me in the mountains. I heard a noise. It was an abominable snowman with a huge snowball, which he threw at me. I got stuck inside the snowball, which rolled down the mountain. It finally landed on the desert and began to melt. I walked across the desert. Suddenly, I heard footsteps coming nearer and nearer. A moment later, I got squished by a giant something or other. Before I could get up, I heard a strange noise. A great blob of marmalade was coming toward me. It chased me across the desert until I crashed into something tall. It was sort of like an ostrich and very cross. It gave me a big kick. I went up into some storm clouds almost got hit by lightning, fell out of the clouds, and landed in an ocean. I sank down about a mile to the bottom. I saw an enormous goldfish coming at me. It's getting crazy. I swam away as fast as I could and hid under a cup that had air in it. When it was safe, I crawled out. I started to walk, but my foot got stuck in the grip of a gigantic lobster. I didn't know what to do, but just then a big squid came along and squirted black ink all over the lobster. I escaped and hitched a ride on a sea turtle that was going to the top for a bit of sunshine. I was fortunate to find a piece of toast floating by the road to shore, where I discovered a newspaper. I quickly folded it into an airplane and flew across the sea and back home to bed. Now, what do you think of that? Could be worse. So right now, I think this is a good story for while we're sick at home. It could always be worse. We could be sick, right? Some of us might get sick, but hopefully we're not going to get so sick that something really bad happens. So remember, as frustrated as you are, as crazy as things are getting, it could always be worse but it could always be better. I know you have that feeling too. So keep, keep keeping on and I'll talk to you later.